Welcome to Cooking with Frank and Meeple. Today, I am at the Berlin Brewing Company. They're having a special event called Meeple Mania. They are raising money for the South Jersey Breast Cancer Coalition. I'm Kevin. And I'm Johnny E from Philly Rock Radio. And you're about to get cooking with, with Frankie, Frankie Meeple. I'm Frankie Meeple with the YouTube cooking show. I'm Frankie Meeple on the cooking chair with you. I'm Frankie Meeple every Wednesday in the show. I said it, you heard it. Hey guys, I'm here at Meeple Mania, and these two maniacs asked me, Frankie Meeple, to be a judge. To judge what? Meeples. Meeples. So you got this whole thing going on. You're raising money for breast cancer, right? Um, how long have you been doing this? This is our eighth year of doing this, with the minus of the two pandemic years. Okay. All right. Do you do all the setting up or you just do the brewing? I do whatever the boss tells me to do. So I do a lot. This organization is amazing. They help people pay their essential bills, such as your mortgage, your electric, your car. Um, they don't focus on the um, uh, medical side. That's what Susan G. Komen's for, and that's a great organization. But this is local, it's right here in Berlin. Um, our leader, Loretta, she's an amazing woman. She is a breast cancer survivor twice. Uh, she's a beast. She's kicking it. She's in the back now, making sure nobody eats the contest meatballs. <laughs> Hi, my name is Loretta Bokoski. I'm the president and founder of the South Jersey Breast Cancer Coalition. I'm, this is the whole reason we're having the benefit for our coalition. I have a family recipe of the Polish meatballs called Klopczyki, and it is a actually a, a beef meatball with mushrooms and sour cream sauce, and it's delicious, and I hope it wins this year. Um, so today I had Loretta's Polish meatballs with the mushrooms. They were absolutely amazing. Um, I hope she gets the recognition she deserves. And I had Billy's vegan crab balls, which were also really good. I'm surprised they were vegan. They were also delicious. Go Billy. They're all individually different. They all have different flavors. The best one in the group was the Escarole meatball. I agree. Yes. Very moist, very flavorful. The best taste so far. They're all good. They're all good. There's not a bad one among them. I made my jambalaya meatballs because I've been making my jambalaya now for about 15 years and it's a big hit. So we made a big pot of jambalaya, we bound it up nice, we made balls out of it. And he came up with the throwdown because um, we used to make thousands of meatballs all by ourselves. And we're like, okay, it's getting a little tired. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Right, it was a large group helping us do it all, but it was a lot of work. So Eddie's like, um, with all the Food Network throwdowns and everything, he's like, what if we had people come in and think they had the best balls? And we're like, bring it. So we started the throwdown. This is our second one. And we have our reigning champion, John Moose Musitano, thinks he's got the best ball. So he's defending his champion this year. I came here and I've seen the best balls I've ever seen in my life. And I also seen the best dash that I've seen in days. So listen, you want balls? Come to Berlin Brewery. If you want stash, come to Berlin Brewery. We're all about balls and stash, balls baby. And stash, baby. Yeah. All balls, all stash. All balls, all stash, all the time. We got to try a Thanksgiving meatball, a chicken escarole meatball. We got to try a bourbon meatball, and I have to say, there's two that I really like. That bourbon meatball is not going to pay. I have been brewing my own beer since 2003, but at home. Uh, just this year, we took over the brew brewing operations here at Berlin Brewing. And it was a big change and everything, but we're, we're moving right along. We're making some good beers. We're having a lot of fun with the whole town. And uh, we're, it, it's just been a, a great adventure. Uh, this beer that we just debuted today, Michelle and other breast cancer survivors got together in my brew room and they took over and they made this fabulous beer just for this event. 
So it, it's got a lot of spirit to it. Everybody involved has just put their love into it. So we hope everybody happy with it. Meepo Mania was started for my mom, who was a three-time champion of meatballs with and without gravy. Really? Yes. So where did she compete? She competed in Hamilton when Chef Lenny had con contests there. It was kind of a fluke. It was in the Hamilton Gazette. Me and Eddie egged her on to do it. She did it and won. She did oh, it the cool. second year, won again, and then they went to South Philly and she oh, won. Oh, South yeah. Philly, my she hometown. Won with hey. and without gravy at that time. So, nice. yeah. Now, let me ask you, did she pass the recipe over to you? She did pass the recipe on. I don't think I personally make them as well as she well, does, but let me ask still a mine. question. <laughs> I got your back, so you can be honest. I Who will, makes them better? I will be 100% honest. They are wonderful. She did her mother justice by making these meatballs. Yeah, I, but if you were to pick one, who well, would be? Obviously, I would pick mom because she would still be here with us. You know, so I'd be having her right here and she'd be enjoying this event with us. Great. So. All right. <laughs> Back to you. Okay. So, your mom's a three-time champion. Yes. And she fought a good, long, hard battle with breast cancer. Unfortunately, she lost it. Sure to hear um, that. Thank you. And then, um, once she passed, we started, uh, we did a birthday party for her, just in her memory, and our house was so packed, you could barely fit people in our home. And Eddie said, after the party, he said, we should do this for charity. And we did. We found South Jersey Breast Cancer Coalition, who is a local organization in this town. They help people pay their essential bills, such as their mortgage, their electric, their car payment. And they can, they are So just this the best. is a charity that yeah. actually gives to the people, not for research. Correct. Let's see, this is Meepo Mania 8. This is our second year for a throwdown, though. Okay, so um, second year that people are actually competing. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we used to make all the meatballs ourselves, uh, but Eddie came up with the idea that it would be way better if we let people fight it out themselves with their own balls. My favorite meatball was the mushroom meatball. I don't know about them, but that was my favorite. They were all really good, and I absolutely agree. Meatball, uh, the mushroom one, by far. What do you think, babe? I voted bourbon. Bourbon. That's my favorite. Hands down. Truly is it inspirational that you guys are all here. And first of all, I want to thank Eddie and Michelle for hosting this and having such a wonderful turnout and making our mama's meatballs Woo! in memory of her mom. Yeah! yeah. 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 I myself four time survivor. Oh my god, god this is her. not from breast cancer. The one thing I always said is I never want to go out from breast cancer. Fortunately, this is something else that God dealt me. He hurt me. So, this is permanent for me. This is the way I'm going to be the rest of my life. But, with that being said, that doesn't mean we slow down, doesn't mean we stop. It means that everything that we do is for our clients. We have a client assistance fund that assists women when they're going through treatment with their essential bills, like the rent, their mortgage, or utilities. We work through the pandemic. Yeah. And we came out on the other side and we're even bigger and better and stronger because of people like Eddie and Michelle who help us out. I can't thank you all enough for being here. It, 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 it's really heartwarming for Michelle and I to have all of you here. Uh, now, Berlin Brewing is now a family. And we have Rachel and Colleen here busting their stones to help us out tonight. Uh, this is a blessing. It's a blessing to Michelle and I. It's a blessing to the Seacrest family. And we just want to do the best we can for everybody. I want to announce the winner of the meatball, the traditional meatball, before I get too carried away here. Uh, we did have a lot of good non-traditional meatballs out there. But the winner was Loretta. Great event. We're very happy to be here. Very happy to be school. here. Very sorry I held up the line. Uh, but my mother is tw two bouts, two bouts of bre breast cancer. So if uh, you don't have someone that has breast cancer, if they didn't affect your immediate family, there's someone out there that you know 
who has been affected by breast cancer. So tonight's uh, as a perfect example of when people come together, it's a coalition. Um, just put the awareness out there, no matter how old you are, anywhere from, let's say 18, 18 all the way up to however, ever, any inclination of anything, always get tested. Uh, don't keep it secret, don't confide in anybody, just go to your doctor, and they'll give you the full story. So it's all about awareness. As long as you get the awareness out there. Yeah. Men and women. I also, my mom died of cancer also. Yes. Uh, had spread to her breast. It didn't initially start there, but Michelle's been doing this for a couple years, partnering with Loretta, the South Jersey. That's how I first got involved in South Jersey breast cancer when my mom cancer had spread to her breast. They do a lot of wonderful things. Loretta was just telling me some more details how she started the whole foundation, that there was no one in D.C. representing New Jersey. So I just want to applaud her. I want to applaud Michelle and Ed, and thank you. We have three judges right now that are going to judge the traditional meatballs. So I guess the first judge we're going to bring up, let's bring up uh, Andy Simone. Hey, guy. All right, the next judge I want to bring up is Mike, Mike Palante. Where you at, Mikey? Hey. All right, now we got our third judge. We dug around for the meatball, the, the biggest meatball we could find. And you ain't going to believe him, but here he comes. Frankie Meatball, Frankie Scudero, come on up. How's everybody doing tonight? You should stand up. Good. Let's all put our hands together for Michelle and Ed for putting everything together. Family recipe? Ah, oh, the grandma. Great, 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 from the old country? From the old country. And then uh, my grandfather, my mother, my mother helped me make these this morning, so I can't take all the credit. I got one question here. In my circle of friends, it's got two names. Sauce or gravy? It's gravy. Gravy! Gravy! gravy. 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 We got gravy tonight, guys. Okay. Uh, I call it sauce. But you know what? We're going to give you the taste test, and that's all that really matters. He's saving them for later. He's like, leave them. So, did you have any live meatball? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your name? Karen. Karen? Is this your recipe? It's not your grandmother's. You think you got a good chance? Nervous. So, you were asking. Again, is this fried or oven fried? Oven baked. Neither. Neither. What's the Roll in the sauce. Moose won it last year. Won it last year. I got a question. How do you pronounce your last name? Moose Oh, yeah, yeah. Moose With a name like that, you gotta win again. <laughs> The recipe comes from my great grandmother, actually, from the old country. Uh, it can be dated back to around 1915. And it's been in the family ever since, and that's it. I hope you enjoy. And uh, the gravy, it's just it's gravy. As soon as you put meat in it, it's a gravy. That's it. Uh, it's just a simple, nothing, nothing much to it. I hope you enjoy. Sicilian? Si. But the main question is, I see that your name is Lusitano. We have, we have a little Sicilian roots in here. I need to ask you, do you, your parents, or your grandparents have a kitchenette or a kitchen in the basement? Oh! No kitchenette in the basement? Presently, no. Presently, no. How about plastic on the, on the sofa? sofa? How about plastic on the sofa? The old stereotype, no matter what. I know it's a stigma, I know it's a stereotype, but when you have a bill on your last name, you either have plastic on the furniture or a kitchen in the basement. So uh, based on that response, I understand why he's the defending champion here tonight, guys. 
So we're going to teach, and uh, we're going to go from here. All right, let's just, uh, tell us a little something about your balls here. The meatball. The meatball. That's a family recipe from my grandparents to my mom, to me and my siblings. I grew up uh, with the family of What kind of meat you got going on over here, Bob? Just beef. Just beef? Just beef. 80 20. 80 20. 80 20. 80 20. Fresh bread right. and bread crumbs. Fresh bread. Yeah, yeah, it's soaked. It's got a good Tonight, man, drinking out of cups. They're, they're two men. Give it up for Anthony King. Anthony King is on the. Uh, he's on your left. So Anthony King was also in the competition for tonight. Uh, long story short, uh, I'm a local resident here. I am also very active in the Italian American community with the Sons of Italy. I've tasted thousands and thousands of meatballs. Last night, I cooked. Uh, Spaghetti and meatballs, linguine and clams, and a little rigatoni for a hundred of my closest friends. So I was still full from last night. But I'll tell you guys right now, a uh, hell, hell of a uh, hell of a class that we had tonight. And all the guys came out. Everyone was very competitive. Um, I'm not going to review the winner. We'll leave that to Frankie Meatballs over here. Uh, he seems to be the he seems to be the real MC for tonight. So thank you, Frankie Meatballs. Uh, Mike, 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 Mike. Just want to thank you guys and everybody here that came out tonight. The meatballs were phenomenal, and uh, I don't know what else to say. The turnout was just phenomenal. Thank you so much for helping everybody out here. And Michelle and Eddie, thank you for having everybody here today. And man, okay, guys, I'd like to say, let's give it up for everybody who cooked the non-traditional and the traditional meatballs. Let's hear it for everybody. So, I'm going to talk to all the guys who made the traditional meatballs. They all were really good. Blue meatballs, really good, it's actually straight. Blue bits of salt, but they were awesome. Really good. Follow up, I love your cooking method. The way the raw meatballs cooked right in the gravy, gave it that nice, falling apart. Like it just was very tender. Great taste, nice sweet gravy. I would like to put your gravy on my pizza. Your meatball, I wonder why you won last year. Awesome. There's not, no home spawn, no straight support, basic. Grandma's meatball, let me tell you. I'm in Frank, meatballs, right on point. Amy, your meatballs. The first one was nice and crunchy. <laughs> but the second one, off the hook. But unfortunately, we have to give or name one winner. So, with that being said, all your meatballs were great. Again, I would eat them at any day of the week. But I have to pick one. We have to pick one winner. But I'm going to give two runner-ups. The first runner-up, I would say in second place, was Karis. Third place is Sean. Now first place, give me that drum roll, boy. First place. 
Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Great job. Thank you. Good job, Frankie. Great job, everybody. Great job. <laughs> Michelle? Come on, man. Let's hear it. Michelle! Speech. Michelle! Speech. Michelle! Speech. Forget about it, huh? It's a Frankie Meatball production. <laughs>